6, long lines and several hours of waiting. Many people spent their entire evening at a voting location wondering why it was taking so long. Thanks for joining us live at 6. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Ty Quinones. Election officials, they are calling what happened last night unacceptable. And reporter Ashton Mendez now looks at how they are trying to fix the problems before November. Vote counting continues here at the Clark County Elections Office, but after some issues encountered last night, look for changes for the general election. Voters had to wait up to seven hours to cast their votes in what is considered to be the first major mail-in election in Nevada. We did not anticipate the number of uh, reissue ballot voters that we got on election day. We primarily put these sites in place for same-day registration. So. We definitely uh, need to make that better. It's unacceptable the wait times that we had, and we will make it better for the general election. Joe Gloria says the voter experience will be expanded in November. We are going to offer what we customarily do for the early voting period and the in-person. And also on election day, we'll have several more sites available. So that will definitely be something that we change for the general election. Safety for all voters will still be around come election day. As we social distance. We created spacing in between the actual voter and our processor. We put plexiglass medians in there. We also provided PPE for our workers. And we offered masks to all of the voters who came in to vote. So that won't change. The Elections Department of the Secretary of State say voting machines will be back but they will be monitoring the situation. Uh, certainly things can change uh, and we will make decisions in response to, to changes if those occur. Uh, but again, right now the, the decision is to conduct a primary election uh, under normal circumstances. And certainly if, if a voter is more comfortable voting by mail, uh, we encourage that voter to request a mail ballot. and We will send them a ballot, a mail ballot for the November general election. We should have the unofficial final results of this election in about a week. Astrid Mendes, 13 Action News. And so as of right now, here's a look at some of the initial results in the U.S. House of Representatives. The incumbents right now, they're currently sweeping the election. A District 1 for Democrats shows that Congresswoman Dina Titus is ahead of Anthony Thomas Jr. at 86% compared to 8%. For Republicans in District 2, Mark Amode is leading Joel Beck 81% to 14%. And in District 3, Democratic Congresswoman Susie Lee right now is ahead with 83% of the votes to date. And also in District 4, Democrat Stephen Horsford leading Jennifer Eason 75% to 10%. And we do have a link to more of the initial results is on our website at ktnv.com slash 2020 nv primary. Well,